without your help. We are broadcasting live from Brighton tonight, and since it's my first visit to this beautiful place, I've been out to learn some more about it. Oh, hi. The Brighton Dome is a thing of architectural beauty, and it's particularly dear to me being the last Swedish winner of Eurovision in 2015. Yeah, that's where you know me from. Because it's also the home of the first Swedish winners in 1974, a little tiny band you may have heard of called ABBA. As a Swede, I'm making my first of many spiritual journeys to the iconic Eurovision location of Brighton. And to find one place in particular. Now this isn't exactly the place I was looking for, but it's perfect for a pit stop. This is a British pier, and you can tell it's British because there's a fish and chip shop at the start, in the middle, and in case you missed the first two, there's one at the end. This still remains the most popular landmark in Brighton, perfect for some holiday snaps. Gorgeous. Anyways, just a stone's throw away from the famous pier and beach is the heart of the old fishing village, otherwise known as the Lanes. If only I had a stone to throw. Oh. See? The Lanes is a historical area of Brighton with an extraordinary mix of shops. From boutique to designer, you'll find it all here. But that's not what I'm here for. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to find a uh, an official Brighton tourist guide. Perfect. Have Where are we now? <laughs> We're at the uh, Brighton Royal Pavilion. This was built about 200 years ago as the seaside getaway for the Prince Regent. He later became King George IV. Today, it's Brighton's largest uh, historic tourist attraction. You can also get married here. Mm -hmm. In 2014, we had the UK's jointly first same-sex weddings here. The LGBTQ community is quite important to Brighton, isn't it? It is, it is. Uh, we're said to have the largest proportion of LGBT people in Britain here. Every August, we have the uh, largest Pride event here in Brighton. And we have a whole history of, of people coming to Brighton to enjoy a little bit more freedom. This was heavily featured in the 1974 contest. And, and I was just wondering if you would want to recreate the ABBA introduction video with me. Love to. All we need is charisma mm -hmm. and an oversized plan. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> By the way, one, one last thing. Do you happen to know where I can find Madeira Drive? Yes, it's that way. That way. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> Legend has it that only four years after ABBA won Eurovision, Brighton celebrated with the perfect gift to the Swedes. Britain's first nudist beach popped up. This is that beach, and being from a country who loves to get naked, I thought I'd take the opportunity for a dip. Now, you never saw Katie Boyle in this, did you? I, You'll have to watch the sequel. I, I actually... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I actually got you a present. Brighton, Brighton Rock. Brighton Rock? Mm -hmm. 